Yo, welcome back everybody to a brand new Pokemon TC Live Temporal Forces deck video. And today I'm excited to show off my brand new Coridon EX deck. Coridon EX is an actual beast of an attacker. And uh, my Coridon deck here was really impressing me while I was playing it on my live stream. So Coridon's got the attack, Kazer Tackle which does 280 damage. That's great numbers. That's enough to kill most of the V-Star Pokemon in the meta, like, of course, Arceus, Lugia, and Giratina V-Star. They can all get one hit KO'd by this attack. And you're also knocking out, like, any other basic EX Pokemon in the format. Crydon is an ancient Pokemon. You can, of course, pair it with Professor Sada's Vitality. But instead of playing, like, a Sada Vitality build, I've actually decided to pair it with the Lost Zone today. And, of course, that's because you can build up Crydon in a single turn with the power of Mirage Gate, allowing you to put two Fighting and Fire on it very easily because its attack cost, of course, does require two Fighting and a Fire. Because it's got a Fire in the attack cost, we can also play Radiant Charizard in the deck. So this deck is kind of like a mini Sablezard deck, but we do have the Radiant Charizard we can play as another big heavy hitter alongside the Coridon. It's also a one-prizer, obviously, which can help offset the prize trade, and uh, I really do enjoy this deck. I was playing on my stream for a bit, and it was doing really good. I was winning a lot of games. It's a very strong attacker, like I said. Now, I am still playing a Professor Sada's Vitality in the deck. The way I kind of look at playing a Sada in here, it's kind of like playing like Raihan in the deck. We've seen Raihan be used in these Lost Zone engines before. And that's why I like having the one of Sada in the deck. Because you can still use the Sada to build up your Coridon. And then you can like Sada and energy to it. And then Mirage Gate, the remaining two energy. Build it up in a single turn. And uh, I like it. One thing that Coridon reminds me a lot of is Dragonite V. Dragonite V was one of the best cards Lost Box ever had access to. And Coridon is similar. It's a Dragon Pokemon with 230 HP. And it has that big attack that can do a ton of damage. It's very similar to Dragonite EX. And that's why I like Coridon EX so much because it's very reminiscent of Dragonite and it just does big damage. And if you don't deal with it, it just kind of runs you over, especially when you're doing 280 damage with its attack. I'm also playing Sandy Shocks. Uh, fighting Pokemon are really good right now. Arceus and Iron Hands are popular. Coridon can one-shot both of them, but it is nice to have a fighting Pokemon. The other nice thing about Sandy Shocks is its ability also makes it easy to power up in a single turn. You can use Magnetic Absorption after your opponent takes two prizes. You can put a Fighting Energy on your discard to the Sandy Shocks, and you can, like, Mirage Gate the remaining two energy onto it, powered up in a single turn as a fighting attacker. It's an experimental card for now. I'm not sure I really like it, but I do have it in the deck as a fighting Pokemon, just in case we need to have a little bit of extra firepower against something like Iron Hands EX. But before we do get the video, shout to the sponsor card, Kevin TCG. Of course, if you're going to get any Pokemon TC Live pack codes, get them over at Card Cavern. If you're going to get any set like the main set, Temporal Forces, or an older set, or some IRL singles and product to Card Capsules, all that over there. If you can get at Card Cavern at the checkout, Use my discount code, code LDF for a 5% discount on your order. Help the channel, help yourself out, and up for Card Cavern. So shout out Card Cavern, check them out. Use code LDF, link down below. Also, make sure to go check out the Shovel Squad down below and my second YouTube channel down below for some extra content. I've been doing a lot of EUIC content on the second channel. I uh, just did a tier list video. Looked at some online tourney results, and there should be some other EUIC content going out later this week on the second channel. Make sure to go subscribe to the second channel down below. We're on the road to 13k subscribers over there. But here is the full deckless view for my Coridon deck here. Like I said, the Lost Zone engine, I think, complements Coridon pretty nicely. I tried to build, like, a turbo Coridon deck with Sada. I don't know. I didn't like it that much. I kind of feel like if you're going to play, like, a Sada deck, I rather would maybe just play, like, Roaring Moon or Gouging Fire because they have alternative ways to power themselves up other than just Sada. And that's why I like the Lost Zone engine for Coridon. And like I said, it's very reminiscent of Dragonite, where you just have this huge dragon attacker. And I've actually opted to play two Coridon in the deck. Um, it's such a good card that I like having two of them. It makes it easier to find it when you want to use it. Um, some other stuff. Obviously, we got the normal Lost Zone cards, like the Sableye and the Cram. I am playing one Spirit Tomb. Spirit Tomb is a godsend within Lost Zone decks right now, mainly because it really helps against Control. It's really good against Lugia, Control, and Charizard. It stops Rodom and Lumineon V, which is so, so good. Um, like, against Control, essentially what you want to do is your board can literally just be Coridon EX, Cramorant, a Comfy, and then Spirit Tomb. And, like, you can kind of alternate between the Coridon and the Cram, and they go Mimikyu. Coridon KOs Rodom in one hit, even KOs Pidgeot EX in one hit. Um, without having to rely on, like, Roaring Moon, which is, like, the other big, you know, Lost Zone attacker usually you see. And that's why I kind of like Coridon, too. And that's why I'm playing two of them. It's just such a good attacker. Um, now, one thing you could play in the deck, I am playing Prime Catcher, because Prime Catcher is bonkers within Lost Zone Engine decks. But you could also play Maximum Belt in here. Because Coridon does do 280, Maximum Belt would let you one-shot a Pidgeot, or, sorry, a Charizard EX. So you could try to put Maximum Belt in here, because you can one-shot Charizard with it. I like the Prime Catcher in this deck because Prime Catcher is just too good not to play in a Lost Zone Engine deck. 
Um, but we are playing a TM Devo to help a little bit against Charizard. Charizard isn't that bad of a matchup. You have TM Devo, you have Radiant Charizard, Cram, two-shot potential, you have Sableye potential, and you, of course, have Coridon, which can just one-shot a Pidgeot EX. So you have a way to deal with Pidgeot fairly easily. And we got the TM Devo to help a little bit. Again, a bit of a work in progress. Like I said, I'm not sure if I like the Sandy Shocks in the deck or not. Wouldn't mind maybe playing like maybe a, a Bravery Charm or like an Ancient Booster Capsule. Could be some alternative options of what you can put in here. Um, but I'm excited to show off my Coridon deck and show off how strong Coridon really is. All right, into this game. We open up with some Comfies. We got Buddy Poffin. Uh, nothing crazy. Yo, Raging Bolt. Yo, might be a battle of the Ancient Basic EXs. Okay, we'll see how it goes. Because I might be favored in this matchup. Because I do have Coridon and Radiant Charizard, which are two really good attackers. We'll see if they're playing Palkia or not. And then I'll know if I want to get Mana Field, Buddy Potty Poffin. Earthen Vessel. All right, time to find out. All right, we are getting uh, Mana Fee in play. Look at that. I mean, they might have Prime Catcher Cologne, but um, kind of have to go for it. My hand's not fantastic. Like, I have a couple cards, but nothing crazy. I mean, the Buddy Poffin's not bad because I can thin a little bit and try to get more set up. Are they going to get a Palkia V here? They do not. Nice. All right, what do we top deck? Okay, that's decent. No, Manaphy's prized. Oh, God. That's not good. Manaphy being prized, pretty bad. I actually didn't even prize check. I don't know why I didn't do that. Give me the Artisan, I guess. Play it. I don't think they play any one prize Pokemon. Should be a big deal. Cram's prize too. Oh my god, our prizes are awful. Cram Manaphy is prized. At least we have Coridon. Wow, it's not good. I am not liking where this is going. Please just give me a Colrus so I can like get turn two Coridon. Oh my god, <laughs> what are these flower selects, dude? No. Pass. That's uh, not good. Yeah, we are in a bit of a pickle. I did not get a Colrus turn one. And I prized Cramorant and Manaphy. Would have been good to get that switch card. But I didn't want to lose Sableye. Sableye is really good in this matchup. We might just get farmed here. Not having not having a way to deal with Greninja is so bad. Yeah, I don't like this. Greninja is just really annoying. Uh, we'll see if they get Palkia set up. Ancient Booster Capsule. That's fine. We got Lost Vacuum in hand. Probably have to go to the TM Devo, though. Okay, we'll see what they got. They have five cards. Do they have anything else? Got to find Heavy Ball. Probably should have done a better job prize checking, but... Like I said, our prizes are not on our side today. Yo, they're going to Burst Roar. Ooh. Boss, that's fine. I guess that's going to make a difference, obviously. So, yeah, they're going to Burst Roar here. So... This is fine. If I actually draw into a Colrus, there's a good chance we could potentially kill the uh, Raikou here. Or the Raging Bolt, sorry, not the Raikou. Kill the Raging Bolt with uh, Coridon. So I have Vacuum. So, like, it is possible to kill the Raging Bolt this turn. But I need a Colrus experiment, which I currently don't have. They do get rid of an Iona, which is nice. That might be really good in the late game, especially because their Palpat's gone. Dude, give me a Colrus. I'm not even going to bother playing the Nest Ball. Give me Colrus. Okay, there we go. We can draw well enough here. There is a chance we can get this knockout. Okay, okay. Okay. Hmm, we're close. Can Nest Ball for Coridon? There's energy? Okay, so we do have it. But I can't knock out the active. I'd have to kill the bench guy. Um, Do I just Prime Catcher kill Sandy Shocks? I don't want to... Freaking get killed by the Raging Bolt, though. It's just a problem. Grab Mana Fee out of the prizes. Roxanne Sada, too. Okay, our prizes are really bad. <laughs> God. Those are not good prizes. All right. It's unfortunate. Bad prizing, gonna bad prize. Yeah, we're just gonna have to Prime Catch or something here. I could knock out the Mew. No, I definitely think just knock out Sandy Shocks. Probably fine. Yeah. It's probably the best Pokemon to kill here. I want to kill the Raging Bolt. I can anyways because the Ancient Booster Capsule. Kind of want that Coridon. We can kind of clean up with Charizard here though. So I'm just, yeah, we can get rid of the Coridon. We don't need two because we have Charizard. Okay. Let's take this knockout. I mean, my opponent could whiff the KO back. It's not looking likely. They should just be able to get a Sada and cook me. But we'll see. They need a Light Energy still. Okay, Sada, Heavy Ball, the prizes. 
Not the prizes I was hoping for. I was kind of hoping to get Roxanne or Cram. Not sure I really should have taken the Mana Fee, to be honest, but yeah. Now I'm now I'm glad I took it. Okay, they have a Sada. They currently can't attack me until they find a Lightning Energy. So if my opponent does not get a Lightning Energy here, they can't knock a Coridon, and then I can have another turn of just knocking something out. So if they don't get a Lightning here, we are, we are chilling big time. We're big time chilling. The odds are not in our favor, though. They should be able to find one, but if the off chance they don't find it, this is pretty good for us. We can take like, another big knockout with Coridon. Let's see if they got a fighting. They have vessels. Like, I, or lightning, sorry. They should be able to find a lightning, but we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. They should be able to get a lightning energy here. Um, Let's see it. Where's the lightning now? I know you got it, bro. I know you got it. Like I said, if they don't have it, we're, we're cooking. And maybe I can draw into a gust card or something and then knock out Palkia with Coridon. We'll see. I can Sableye next turn, potentially, if I can find Colrus. Could always retreat and do Sada too, which isn't terrible. Just in case I don't get chorus. We'll see. We'll see. Do they have a lightning energy? This Oh, they don't have it. They whiffed the lightning. Oh my god. Alright, this is huge. This is so good. This is kind of what you want. You just want tempo, and we are getting a tempo big time. Okay. I definitely think we just smack him here. We have vacuum still in the deck and stuff. So we can just smack him. And then Sableye the following turn. Ooh, or we get the boss. No, we definitely just hit the... I'm just going to hit the Raging Bolt. I think it's correct. Just hit the Raging Bolt here and then Sableye next turn. Seems good to me. Probably don't need to do another Coridon anymore. Yeah, we'll just take this and then... Uh, yeah, we'll just attack him. Because then we can just knock him out with Sableye next turn, and then we can just, like, Sableye for game on Mew, or, like, Radiant Zard or something and clean the game up. I don't know. Killing the Palkia is tempting, but I think it was correct to take Colors there. We know they probably don't have a second Iono. If they're playing the list I did a video on, they don't play two Iono. So, we're chilling. They still need to find an energy here. Um, I guess they can kill me with Palkia. They can, like, retreat into Palkia if worse comes to worse. But if they really don't get the knockout here, we're in a dangerously good position. Sableye is perfect, too, because we can set up damage on all their Pokemon to, like, set up for a Charizard KO. We could even vacuum this off and then, like, kind of go off. I don't think I'm going to be able to win next turn or anything. Okay, they had a research. They don't play the vacuum. Wait, what? Why? Would... They're not vacuuming my escape board? Bet. Okay. Okay, there it is. They got it. But I could also just spit the active. But I, I think we definitely Sableye, because now we can set up damage. Where now we can like set up for like a big Radzard KO, especially on the Raging Bolt if it gets another booster capsule on. We can put four on it, three on Palkia. Yeah, it's, we're in a good spot. Like, this is why I like Coridon. It's like, it's basically Dragonite V, bro. We just got so much value out of this one Coridon. It's crazy. This thing is a beast, bro. This thing is a monster. Actual just goaded card. Cool. Like, we have. Yeah, we're in a really good spot. Especially if they have no gusts left. I think they, this, they're cooked. Okay, let's see what our top deck is. Pretty good. Wow. Okay. Um, guess flower select. Take that. Don't think we need counter catcher anymore. It's going to go into Sableye. I'll super rod. We could, we can just, we just win next turn with Coridon too, because we have Sada, which is nice. I lost mine. So let's go Knockout, three, 300 HP, we need to put five on this. We got two left over. Does it matter where I put this? Not really. We'll put the rest on... Palkia. I, I actually, it doesn't matter where I put the 20 damage. I think it's irrelevant. Okay. I guess I put it on the Greninja. They can still Greninja me here. I have game in hand. So if they go Raging Bolt or Palkia, we do just win this turn. We have the ability to win with Coridon. We have Nest Ball, Sada, Attach, Mirage Gate, and that's a dub. Well, unless I draw the energy, I guess, which is awkward. No, I can Mirage Gate first, and then Sada. Okay. They're going for the Greninja. They have to do this, because otherwise I just win the game, obviously. So, okay, I should have put the 20 on the Greninja, because I could have knocked this thing out. Okay, it was a mid bit of an oversight, but still, it's like, we're really we're really far ahead, regardless. Or actually, wait, I have game with Coridon. Oh, I just have game in hand with Coridon. I don't even have the Sada. I think I 
No, I'm trolling. I have the Nest Ball. Yeah, okay, I have game. Let's say Iono here. I actually do have game with Karidon, either with Sada or Mirage Gate, it looks like. I lied. I lied. Okay, let's see the Greninja for... I can also win with Radiant Charizard, too. I'm actually trolling. They have to Iono or Roxanne me here. Which I don't think they play either or. No, boss? Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, okay. That's good. That's not good for me. Do I have enough energy to win? Guess we're going to find out. That's pretty good. They hit the, the Cologne boss play. It's pretty scary. So my opponent can still easily stay in this game. I think I just went with Radiant Charizard here. Yeah, they're going to KO Sableye and Comfy probably. Hopefully they just kill my Manaphy. That'd be nice. No, okay. I was going to say that'd be nice. That's fine. Didn't expect them to have that. Not going to lie. That's pretty scary. But I think we're still probably winning this. I think I just have game with Zard here. Zard should just have... Yeah, Zard should win me the game. So I can retreat Manaphy. Or that works too. Okay, let me check. I want to see if I can win with Koridon for the content. Mirage Gate. Fire fighting attach. Boss. Okay. Koridon's game. Cool. I'd rather win with Koridon. Bro's in the thumbnail. We got to get Koridon for content, bro. All right, GG's. Honestly, this matchup is scary. If they ever got that Palkia out earlier, I could have been just actually cooked. Palkia is really, really scary. Especially when they can do stuff like that. Because we prized our mana fee. Our prizes were working against us, but we got a really good turn with Karidon where my opponent just whiffed the knockout, and I just basically put a ton of damage on the board. And we got the dub there with our Karidon Lost Zone deck. Cool stuff. Close match, too. I mean, that Greninja play almost gave my opponent... The ability to come back, which was crazy. So now I regret not putting two on the Crydon. But we got there in the end. We had Radiant Zard 2 still cooking in the deck to kill like anything really on the bench. But it was a close one for sure. Like if Iron Hands wins EUIC, Iron Hands is going to go way up in price. But if like a YouTuber who makes... Like if I say that Iron Hands is a S tier deck that everyone's sleeping on, it's not going to cause its price to go up at all. It's not going to move in my opinion. It's not going to happen. I mean, Gastly's a cool card, yeah. Gastly's a good artwork and stuff. I have no idea what I'm playing against here. It's kind of a problem. I'm going to find out. I'm going to grab the Tomb. This could be Charizard EX, which could be a bad matchup. We'll see. Stall? It could be Stall. Could be Stall. Could be Zard. We'll see. Actually, I should have attached to Comfy. Yeah, I should have put Psychic Call. Yeah, no. Like, the only the only way TCG players can uh, influence card prices was on TCGO. All right. It looks like it might be Charizard. All right. LDF Stonks are going up. They are... Yeah, true, true. They are up. You tell me to hold uh, SAR hands, I'm a hold. Fair, fair. I mean, it really depends. It really depends. It depends on how much you trust the, the influencer. That's kind of the thing, too. Right, hopefully they didn't Iono themselves in a rare candy Zard, but we will see. That was a good Iono. My hand kind of stunk. All right, that's fine. Shh, buddy Poffin, let's go. Probably don't need three comfies, to be honest. Yeah, I don't think I need three comfies. I'm really even like spitting the road on here. Never mind. We are KOing the Charmander. I lied. I'm going to knock out their only Charmander. And I guess... Yeah, it's fine. They don't know I'm playing Radiant Zard, which is kind of insane. Yeah, they don't know I have Radiant Zard in the deck, which is nice. Do you think Radiant Greninja or Radzard Lost Box is better in this meta? Uh, it's too early to tell. Um, we'll see. Greninja is still better for consistency. Um, but we'll see. It's Lost Zone Karidon, yes. An influencing issue. Have we got to instant charge? Because I have Spirit Tomb in play. You can't do instant charge. Why grab Spirit Tomb? Anytime I see a Rotom, I'm grabbing the Tomb immediately. Prime Catcher is basically the price of a booster box. Jeez. Yeah, Prime Catcher is a very good card. It's a pretty good card. The Iono from Paldean Fates is a move for sure. Could be. I mean, I don't know. I don't really collect the cards, to be honest. I, I have a collection, but like that's just... I don't, like, actually go out of my way to collect cards. I just have cards that I collect from what I've pulled. But you never know. You never know. May maybe one day we'll see Walking Wake SAR, you know, become a $200 card. You never know. 
Okay, what are they Arvin for? They have Forest Seal. So actually, Cam on the Road on here would be optimal. I don't know if I can do that, though. We have a five-card hand. Only one switch. All right, we'll see what we can do. I can get Colrus, actually. No, we can kill them. They're dead for sure. Got to hit a Colrus off this. Yeah. Let's go. Probably don't need two fighting, though. Ugh, I don't know if I have two fighting. That's why I'm, I'm going to thin... Well, we have... We have Sada. Doesn't do anything. All right. We need a fighting energy off this chorus. Yeah, there we go. Dope. Might be a little greedy to ditch the Sada, but... It's a pretty important knockout. All right, cool. Now we shot off their Forest Seal Stone, which is good. We have the TM Devo, which is obviously going to be good. All right, so let's go Skateboard. Retreat. Knockout. Let's go. What deck do you think is going to do good in the UIC? Yeah, you got to watch my cheerless video. I think Zard, Lugia, and Control, maybe Shen Pao, the four best decks right now. Arc Picks? Arc Picks is cool. My issue with Arc, Volpix, and Gudra is like, you just have a really bad Lugia matchup. And yeah, Shen Pao, I don't know. Uh oh. Bro got that Pidgeot without using Instant Charge. That's not good. Still winnable, though. We just need to, like, spit a couple times. No, they hit the Charizard, bro. No. I was low-key hoping Coridon would stick around for another turn. Sleeping on Dengo. I don't know. I don't think Goldengo's good, unfortunately, because Eerie's, Eerie's very popular right now. Goldengo's really bad against Eerie. The only, like, I thought about maybe playing Silene with Goldengo, and that actually might have to be the way to play Goldengo, to be honest, because Goldengo really struggles against Eerie. Eerie is real because... Shempao and Goldengo are the, kind of the same case where, like, they gotta get farmed by Eerie. But, like, Goldengo's not as bad against Eerie. Eerie just, like, destroys Goldengo, though. Because you're, you're always gonna have a huge hand. They're just gonna, just gonna hit you with that. Why no Capsule? We can't fit Capsule. And I don't think you need to play Capsule. It's not really necessary. Yeah, if I'm gonna play, if I'm gonna play Goldengo, I think we gotta play Silene. And maybe that's something we can try out maybe later on the stream. I don't know. I wanna play Alakazam, though. That'd be fun. It's kind of annoying they hit the Charizard, but okay, sure thing, boss. Bro, actually pulled off where Kenny Pidgeys are without instant charging. That's crazy to me. I actually hate Charizard. We just... Oh, that sucks. I guess we're just going to go for TM Devo. Honestly, we're still in a good spot. I'm not going to put a two-prizer down. Why did I not promote the other Comfy? Actually, it doesn't really matter. Hmm. That was a pretty good draw. I think we actually just KO Pidgeot here, right? Yeah, we have Knockin' on Pidgeot. Yo, let's get it. Yeah, your Pidgeot is donezo, buddy. Alright, we're chilling. We just KO the Pidgeot here. They also have no... We can also win with Sableye if they're not careful. Okay, I like this. Yo, Coridon's pretty good. 280 damage is pretty good damage. Not gonna lie, chat. Cool. We just have to two-shot this. It's like, should be easy-peasy. Nice. Cool, cool. Eerie is very toxic. Actually, speaking of which, we could get eerie here. I don't know if that's going to happen. All right, so now we just have to wait until my opponent... Um, yeah, we're chilling. We just we win by two-shotting this uh, Charizard. So, yeah, it's looking pretty good. We can, like, wait, 60 HP Charmander? Seven? Whoa, who still plays a 7 HP Charmander? I was going to Sableye them here. We basically just need TM Devo. That, bro, I have... Okay, okay. All right, I was like, I was like dude, don't do that. But I forgot they had the Force Seal Stone. Um, I can't gust for game on Luminion, unfortunately. But they're just going to Iona me to one, obviously. But then we can go spit Radiant Charizard or something. I think we're chilling. I think we're chilling. Belt? Nah, we're playing Prime Catcher. Honestly, you know what, though? Maybe Belt actually is better than Prime Catcher in the deck. Maybe it is. I actually don't know about that. Okay, please bench another Charmander so I can save life for game. If I actually get it. It's looking pretty good, though. Stabilize a Manaphy? 
Oh, yeah, we have game. Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. I, I, for some reason, I thought I had two prizes left. You're right, yes. I should have put the Artisan. No, then I want to give him Jirachi. We have time to win. We have two turns to win this game. We probably win. Maybe maybe Belt's better. The, I don't know about playing Belt in the Like, Lost Box is so good, though, without Belt. I don't know. Yep, seems good to me, Chief. We do play two boss. I lied. Yeah, we have game next turn. Still have the potential of Wimps Sableye. The, bro, no way. That was my... Oh, my God, dude. No, my other psychic... No, what? Bruh. Oh, my God. It's always got to be that, bro. What? The flower select into Sableye energy? Oh, my God. Okay, that's fine. We can still get Super Rod. That sucks. Oh, shit. No, Super Rod went to the bottom of the deck. Wow. That sucks. All right, it's all Gucci. This probably wins us the game anyways. That's very unfortunate, though, for sure. The word rod in deck. We got two in the deck. We got two. But it went to the bottom of the deck. Boss to Pidgey. I can't boss Pidgey. I, I cold wrist. I can't play... Chat, you're trolling. I can't play boss. I cold wrist into it. That's game anyways. Right? Yeah, we have boss. It's either they boss my Charizard... Or they Iono me and I win with Charizard. So it doesn't really matter. That was like checkmate anyways. I guess they could have been counter catcher. It's all good. No, I was correct to spit there, MacGyver. Because I want to be able to two-shot this. Because they could have Iono me again. They also could have got like Jirachi down or something. So. Nah, it's fine. It was always correct to just spit there for sure. Because they're either... They're either not bossy me and I have game in hand or not. So it's like kind of a checkmate scenario. They'd have the, they had the Iono counter catch me and they, I don't know if they were going to do that. That was a good game. We actually got to use a lot of uh, the uh, Coridon that game. That was sick. Coridon put in work there. Okay, we finally got a good start. Are we going second? We are. Yo, should I just... I think we should just slam the Spirit Tomb down. Just in case. We don't know what we're planning. I'm going to bench Spirit Tomb. Lost Box will punish it. Yeah, I guess. I guess, yeah. Okay. Benching Spirit Tomb didn't matter. Yo, but it might. What's the deck? We're playing Lawson Coridon. So far, it's been decent. It's been decent so far. We keep starting with Coridon, so thankfully not this time. We almost did. It was in the hand again, bro. It was, like, always in the hand. I mean, it's nice because it's, like, in play. It's, like, the same as having a Roaring Moon in play, though, because then you can't use your big nuke attack because you knock yourself out. Because your opponent goes boss, hit Coridon. You can't use Kazer Tackle unless you switch card. You live downtown West Toronto, so traveling in the north sucks for me. Hobbies fills only five minutes. Yeah, it's a lot. Yeah, it's definitely a lot shorter. Bro, hit the nuts. Okay, but there's no mana fee in play. Or Jirachi, sorry. Okay. All right, it's fine. We kind of know how to pile this matchup. So we should be okay. We got an idea of how to play it. All right, we'll see how it goes. My objective might have to just be get to Sableye really quickly. I can take the knockout with Cram. Is that really worth it? No, I think I'm just going to chill. No, Cram KO is always correct. Sableye's in there. Roxanne, Colrus, Prime Catcher, Team Devo. Two fighting, two fire, two second left in the deck. Good to know. Yeah, okay, Cram. Always correct here. I don't want them to bench Jirachi, but it's fine. How many Coridons? We do play two Coridon in the deck. I don't know if you need to, but we're playing like a Sada in the deck and stuff. Like, we're playing a draw engine with Sada, so it is nice to have two. It's like playing two Roid Moon in a Lost Box deck. Lost Vacuum is vital against hands. Yeah, exactly. I honestly, like, a lot of decks, like, in my opinion, if you can fit a 60th card in your deck, I think Vacuum's the perfect addition if you don't already have one. 
It's a pretty good hand, Jesus. Oh, God. All right, don't worry, chat. We're going to beat the Aspathra deck this time. We lost to it the first time because I kind of misplayed, but not this time, not this time. We'll be fine, chat. Can they even knock me out here with the Aspathra? Honestly, they, they might not even have it. Ooh, League Headquarters, nice. I did lost one of Artisan. I kind of forgot how important that card is in this matchup. Maybe I should have taken that. But they did just discard when it evens out, so it's not the biggest deal now. Espathra's cool. The Espathra beta deck actually felt kind of sick. I, I'm not going to lie. I did like that deck. I did like it when we practiced it earlier. Okay, after my opponent's turn, I have to run downstairs to get my dinner. So hopefully we can have a nice quick turn here. Cried on the other day? Nice. Yeah, I, I really want this card to be good. I don't think it's a bad card at all. So that's why we're trying it out. Kind of want to play Maximum Belt in here for the Zard matchup. Could be a worthwhile inclusion. I got the League Headquarters. No. Yeah, we got Vacuum. It's fine. Can I Sableye this turn? If I can get... Yeah, you know what? Sableye is doable. Maybe. Let's see what our top deck is. Switch card. Nice. Maybe we can't Sableye. I don't know. Bro, what is that? Okay, I have two Psychic in the deck. We can afford a loss on that. Hmm. Seven in the loss zone. Eight, nine. I'm one off. If I can find TM Devo, I can get to ten. Because I can kill Flittle, Flittle, and Natu, which is huge. Can I kill with Karide on this turn? I don't think so. I could just spit here. Could Super Rod cram again. Kind of like that, sure. Uh, we might get Ionoed. I should probably vacuum, but literally every card in the hand is like really good, so I kind of just have to let that thing stay in play. A sweet autograph? <laughs> Not really. I'm I'm bad with handwriting. My autograph, actually, a lot of my friends memed on it. Blue eyes, blue eyes, white dragon. Okay, I'll be back, chat. I gotta run downstairs to get my dinner. Yeah, we made it back, chat. Let's get it. Oh, just in time. Okay, no Iono's good. All right, we can Sableye here. And, all right, we're chilling, we're chilling. We can Sableye. They didn't evolve their stuff, so we're chilling. Cool, cool. Nice. Roxanne, good top deck. We're at seven. Okay, Colrus. <clears throat> Sandy Shock sucks. I probably should Mirage Gate first. Nah, I never punished. Countercatcher's pretty good. Um, need two energy on the Sableye. Yeah, it's kind of worth it, though. This is pretty good. We can vacuum a Poke Gear away. And we can really cripple their board. All right, let's go. We go knockout, knockout, and sure, sick. I actually knock out the Aspathra to win the game. So that's like not checkmate, but it's looking pretty good. It's a lot of energy. We're probably getting Ionoed here. They've played none so far. Good chance we get Ionoed. We just have to like. Win in time if they Iono me. We'll see. Bane and Clodsire. The Clodsire Bane deck's not bad. It's tight. It's tight. Do I get a lot of people asking for autograph? Yeah, usually, usually, yeah. I didn't see that first part, but yeah, usually. 
I usually sign a lot of mats and cards and stuff. Why the 30 HP fiddles? Free retreat cost, go burr. Yo, Cuddles, what's up? Yeah, free retreat cost. Two boss, that's pretty good. I don't like, I don't mind that. Giant cape, sure. No Iono. All right, that's just... Oh my god, a third boss? Yikes, unfortunate. Wow, that sucks. No Jirachi's crazy? They probably play one, but they bench lock themselves. They probably do play one. They did bench lock themselves, though, which is probably what happened. You can knock out Kuridon maybe next turn, but they're down three boss, and they don't play Prime Catcher, so I think we're chilling. They could counter catcher, I guess. Okay. We don't have game just yet. We need a Mirage Gate to win the game. We need a Mirage Gate. Sick. Wait, is that game? Oh, we still need a switch though, don't we? I think we should be fine. I need to hit a no, I just attach retreat, right? Okay, no, we got game. No, we don't no, we do need a switch. Okay, I do need a switch first. Alrighty then. Sure thing. Can we need to find a switch or another Mirage Gate energy? Okay, well, Roxanne. There it is. Let's go, baby. That's a dub. Yeah, go top deck. I mean, we we had the we had a lot of outs. Even like a Sada there off of the Pokey Gear until like a Mirage Gate could have won us the game too. Flutter main. No, not the Flutter main. Dude, is it Flutter main Charizard actually farmed, bro? We're sh that's so bad. No, it's Gardevoir. Uh, it's a bad matchup, I think. Yeah. I think I'm cooked. Flutter main, yeah, that's not good. I don't know what I'm playing to Orlando. Not until EUIC wraps up is when I'm going to find out what I'm going to play to Orlando. It's a little too early to tell. Okay, prizes. Uh, Sada, double energy, Colrith. Mirage Gate could be better. Actually, I don't even need that. No, I do. Ah, this sucks, bro. Oh, wait, why did I not take the vacuum? Bro, I'm trolling. I need vacuum. I'm actually trolling. I should take why did I not take vacuum? That was actually okay, that was bait. I should have taken the vacuum. That was that was an NPC misplay for sure. I'm not sure why I didn't take vacuum there. Should have switch carded. I don't know. I've kind of given up. This is like definitely a bad matchup. Well, they, if they don't start fluttermane, it's not a bad matchup. But the fact they start a fluttermane, it makes it a bad matchup. Well, they just pass. I mean, that's fine. I should have taken the vacuum. I'm actually trolling. I'm actually trolling by not taking vacuum. Just do this. We can actually just swing with Karidon. We, if my opponent attacks me, we just knock him out. It's pretty good. Pretty good. I played a Zard Mirror earlier, but they had Mawile. You can get Manaphy out of the active. F. I thought about Mawile in this format, but because Control is so like popular right now, it's hard to tech for it. That's kind of why I don't really like it. But I have thought about Control in this format. Or Mawile, sorry. Okay, what's our draw? Circuit Energy, not like this. Take that. I probably should nest ball to be honest, but I'm gonna save it. I actually should have taken that lost vacuum. That actually could if, if my opponent like does stuff, we could lose because we didn't take that vacuum. Alright, just a pass. Yo, give me an energy. No. Prime catcher. Ooh, that's pretty good. I think we should save that though. Let's poke him. Actually, I could have went prime. I could have went prime catcher, cram, KO, Ralt. That's probably what I should have done. Or even KO Jirachi. Nah, I don't know. I'll save the prime catcher, Iono. That's unfortunate. All right. Well, now we're in trouble because now they're gonna get Curly as established. There's the energy, but we didn't get a Colrus, which is pretty bad. Did not get a Colrus. Oh, but they have the pass. Nice. All right. We can cook. We can start. Now we can use our other attack now, which is kind of sick. All right, cool. Okay, what's our prize? Chorus? Yo, let's go. The boy pulled up. If they don't get the Jirachi back, it's possible to get Sableye next. No, six, seven. No, no, it's not possible to get Sableye.
mobile is actually broken. It might be because of the maintenance. The maintenance has caused the game to be slightly buggy. The meme tail. Oh boy. Really sucks I have Sandy Shocks stuck in play. That actually might lose me the game. Having Sandy Shocks in play could just lose me the game on the spot. It's not good. Guardi, I think Guardi's actually pretty good. I actually think this deck is still decent. I don't think it's as good as it was before, but it's not a bad deck. It is not a bad deck. Um, yeah, not good. Um, want to kill a Curly, obviously. Maybe should have went for the deck shuffle there. I don't know about Sada. Sada was probably... Well, I might be able to play it next turn. They're board locked. I could just not KO them here. They have Turo. Alright. Let's knock them out. We're going to get KO'd here probably, but that's fine. We are ahead two prizes. But like I said, Sandy Shock's being in play is probably going to lose us the game. Because so I could have tried to assault them with one prize for the rest of the match and maybe could have won. Mist Energy stop Mawile? Mist Energy... Does it stop Mawile? Actually, I don't think it does. I, it does stop the effect where you take the 90 damage, I'm pretty sure. I don't think it's going to stop Mawile, though. I could be wrong. Never had that interaction before, but hey, yeah, it could be, could be, could be, could be, could be for sure. What are they adding? The current maintenance? No idea. Shock box? Yeah. Well, this is more of a Coridon deck, but yeah, we got the Sandy Shocks. I'm not sure we need it. It does stop Mawile. Well, there you go. More reason not to play Mawile. Mawile is probably going to be good if, like, Charizard stops respecting control, which is not going to happen, unfortunately. Mawile could have been better, man. It could have been better. I mean, I guess, like, a one of Mawile with, like, an Eerie in Charizard isn't terrible. Because it helps in the mirror match. Couple of new cards? Yeah, I think so. I think so. I'm excited. There's a lot of a lot of content for the second channel this week. Tier list, use EUIC videos, um, decks doing well in the online tournaments. That's I'm gonna try to get a video out on that maybe tomorrow or Thursday. Yeah, we're playing a new Lost Box build. Yeah, uh, that's not good. Yeah, this matchup seems pretty bad. I mean, if I don't start, if I don't get, if Sandy Shocks wasn't in play, we'd be fine. The Sandy Shocks being in play kind of screwed us over. Maybe I shouldn't have benched the Karaidon, though, then, honestly. Yeah, I definitely should have kept the vacuum. That was bad. Okay, well. I can potentially go Sableye here. Um, but not right now. Okay, maybe not. I want to be able to Sableye. That'd be pretty nice. Ah, I could get Sableye. Seven... I need a coal wrist to get to Sableye. It is doable though. Nope. <sighs> Boss, I could kill their Curlia, which isn't bad either. Finally kill the active though. Have to kill the active, I guess. I guess we'll slot up. I'm not going to bench Coridon. I mean, I guess I could. Because it's not bad against my opponents. It's not bad against the Guardi, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. That's two Mirage Gates. But I'm not really... Uh, yeah, it's fine. Whatever. Screw it. It's not good. We're probably getting Iono next turn. We'll see though. If I can, if I if they don't get Jirachi, I, Sable, I could still win me this game. It's still feasible. Am I doing a Snorlax video? Not an actual deck profile. Probably like, I mean, what? Well, it's too early, but we'll have to see if Snorlax does well at EUIC. And if it's, if enough like outcry happens about Snorlax, maybe there's a there's a video topic idea where I can. Talk about if Snorlax is good for the game or not. I don't know. 
Cause I, I did a video on Snorlax when it won after it won. Uh, I forget, but Snorlax did win a regional last format. After that, that's when I did my Snorlax discussion video. Could do one again for EUIC if like it like dominates or something. I don't know. Like Snorlax, I don't think Snorlax is like the worst thing. Like it's not the it's not a huge problem in my opinion. It's just people don't like playing against it. We just haven't had a control deck be this good in a long time. Yeah, Gadons, that's what it was. What up, Yevin? How we doing? They go Guardi. Oh, they can go Iono Guardi, and then I can't kill them back with friggin' Karidon if they Iono me. This is like the Sableye turn, but they just put back Jirachi, though. No. Yeah, we're farmed for sure. This matchup is pretty bad. This is like definitely a bad matchup. We don't have any dark Pokemon in the deck. Karidon doesn't do enough either, unfortunately. Hey, what up, Delva? If it gets bad, I was Mazin. Yeah, yeah. The, the the chatter for Snorlax died down a little bit, but there was a there was a moment where I was thinking about doing a video talking about Snorlax control. Yeah, this is pretty bad. Uh, it's not looking good, chat. I don't know if I can win this. It's not looking too good. If they don't, I mean, they don't get Drachi and play maybe, but getting Iono here is like pretty bad too. We'll see what's up. Snorlax is not totally unstoppable. Well, that well, the Maridon was just a good deck in that meta for the Snorlax matchup. That was kind of the different story, but yeah. You spend too much time passing. That doesn't that doesn't really mean anything though. That doesn't matter. That can happen in any game. You could literally have any game where you can deck your opponent out because they overextended their resources. That's not really a problem with Snorlax. That just doesn't make any sense. The problem with Snorlax isn't that. It's mostly that the deck itself enables like it just, it has, like, too many good cards. That could be the problem. I don't think Snorlax is, I don't think Snorlax is, like, too good right now. But we'll see if the yap on Twitter increases in the next couple months, next couple weeks. If there's a worthwhile discussion on Snorlax after UIC, then it might be worth talking about. That's kind of my take. Why not collapse the Sandy Shocks? Oh, I could have, you're right. Oh, yeah, why, yeah, you actually, yeah, why did I not do that? You're right, actually, that was trolling for sure. Okay, that's... I mean, honestly... Yeah, no, I should have done that. You're right. It's fine, though. You're right, I should have. But that's fine. Honestly, it's not a big deal. I might need the Sandy Shocks for an attacker, though. I don't know. They are down a boss. I don't know. They're going Fluttermane. Okay, Fluttermane doesn't kill me. So I can knock him out with Sandy Shocks here. See, now not collapsing the Sandy Shocks actually came... In handy. Let's go. Do I have the energy in the deck, though? That's the question. I should. Yeah, okay, cool. Oh, no, I definitely do now. Yeah, I'll put back Crydon 3 energy. The Crydon is good to have. Because I might need it for the... Uh, I might need it here. Yeah, Crydon could be good in the end game. TM Devo is pretty good too. Do I really need TM Devo though? Yeah, maybe because we could win the game next turn. Do I just say screw the Mirage Gate? That's my last Mirage Gate though. And then I can't go Coridon for game. If they want to go Guardi next turn, I just TM Devo for game though. I want to keep my options open. I still have another soup. Ah, no, you know, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Lost Box gives me a headache. It's fine. I mean, Team Devo's pretty good, so. Venomoth is an item lock effect. We get two prizes for KOing them. So if they just... Well, they can't really go Guardi here, can they? Guardi doesn't knock me out. They go Screamtail. Okay, we'll see. I mean, it's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. There's one thing I like about the Sandy Shocks is that it can build itself up. It's kind of why I like having it over, like, another fighting type, like a Slither Wing or whatever. See, I don't know. Let's see, this is the only issue with the scenario. So now my thing went to the bottom of the deck. That's game. Let's go. Assuming they don't somehow make their board invincible. Maybe I should have honestly lost on the save lie there. Because they were just going to get Drachi anyways. Could have kept the super odd. It's fine. We have game. It's all good. Wincon could have been either like TM Devo or this works too. There's good Rodex mostly, but not the decks you'll see in tournaments. 
Yeah, rogue and meta decks are like two different things. Like rogue decks, in my opinion, there's nothing wrong with playing them, but met, yeah, that's the thing. Exactly, Matt. And that's why I like it. It's like Galarian Moltres. It's kind of like playing the Galarian Moltres in Lost Box, which I actually did see play in both Glasses Box and Normal Box. Imagine playing Diodsy to block boss. In Guardi, I don't know if that's worth it because it only does 20 damage, unfortunately. Iona was a lie. Yeah, for sure. I had a 24 card deck, so. I mean, I still have Prime Catcher in the deck, too. I'm out of Colrus, actually. Alright, whatever. We just sacked the dub anyway. It's all good. Alright, we had time to win. Even if my opponent didn't have it here, even if I didn't have game, I could have. I could have just set up game with uh, TM Devo. Because, like, that Gardevoir, it can be TM Devo and KO'd. So, but yeah. It's, yeah, I mean, it's pretty good. Having the same shocks in play actually ended up helping us in the end. Look at that, chat. Look at that. I was out here saying, bro, this card, why is it in play, bro? It's going to lose me the game, but nope. That's not a knockout. Wait, what? Bro, it's trolling. All right, let's game. Give me that, Jirachi. Yum, 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 yum. Eat him up. GG's. Look at that, chat. The Sandy Shocks won me the game anyways. I was out here saying this card sucks. Why is it in play? I'm going to lose. Nope. It won me the game. Let's go. What's up, Sam Green? What's up, Ruben? And there you have it. That is my Lost Zone Coridon deck in action. After playing the deck a lot on my live stream and even recording Forte's video, I really enjoy this deck. There are still some changes I want to make to it. Um, like maybe the Sandy Shocks, you know, you maybe don't need to play it. It is nice to have a fighting Pokemon in the deck, though, right now in our format. Um, but you can make the argument Coridon is perfectly fine because it does one-shot Arceus, V-Star, and Lugia, and Iron Hands. But I think the Sandy Shocks is still nice to have. You can also easily power it up in, like, one turn. And also, it just makes it—you just need one Mirage Gate because you can just go—you um, can use your ability, Mirage Gate, to it. But it is cuttable for sure and just kind of go all in on the Coridons. You do have the Radiant Charizard in the deck. Would it maybe mind playing a second Cram or something? Um, could be good. You can even try out like Crisis Punch or something in the deck. Um, that'll be for me on my Lost Zone Coridon deck. I really enjoy this deck and I think Coridon is a very strong card. This card is an actual beast. It does so much damage. It is a scary attacker for sure. And uh, yeah, definitely don't underestimate the power of Coridon either. This card is definitely very, very strong. And, uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video on my Lost Zone Cryodon deck. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you're new to the channel, subscribe down below. Help me on the road to reaching 58,000 subs. We're getting even closer to 58K. We are less than, like, 100 subs almost away from 58,000 subs. So make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't already. Check out Car Cabin. If you get any codes, use code LDF. Check out my Twitch, my Twitter, my Discord, the Shuffle Squad, and the second channel down below for some extra content over there. We've been doing a lot of EUIC content. Just uh, did an EUIC tier list and looked at some more crazy online tournament results. And uh, yeah, that'll be for me. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch y'all in another video. Bye-bye.